Hey friends, I am John Laspina, your carnivore teacher. Today we're going to talk about bacteria and the fact that sugar feeds bacteria. Bacteria love sugar big time. So any bacterial infection that you have, you name the infection that is a bacteria based infection. And if you're eating a lot of sugar, or if you're eating something that turns into sugar like starch, carbohydrates, you are feeding that bacteria and that bacteria is happy and it's growing, it's multiplying, it's getting worse. So logically you starve the bacteria by not consuming carbohydrates and sugar, by not consuming starch. Now we have healthy bacteria in our body and we have unhealthy bacteria and you want, of course, the healthy ones to be higher. You don't want to have them out of balance. And when you eat a lot of sugar, you are feeding the bad bacteria, the sugar loving gut bacteria. In this very brief video, I encourage you to starve the bad bacteria out of your body by not consuming sugar or starch. Here's an example. When you get a sore throat, when you know you have a cold, you feel achy and you have a sore throat, maybe a runny nose, and it's, it's a, it's a classic cold. That's a virus actually. And that's not the same as a bacteria. But if you get a bacterial infection on your arm, somewhere else in your body, if the pneumonia that you're, that you might've contracted isn't viral, if it's bacterial, you're feeding that bacteria. When you eat starch and sugar, you want to starve that bacteria because that's the bad bacteria that you don't want to multiply. Now, the good bacteria that you do want to multiply would be lactobacillus, stuff like that that's in kefir or yogurts. When you ferment things, that's the healthy good gut bacteria. And that's fed through fermentation. Now, there's sugar involved in that too, but it's not flat out starch and sugar that you're consuming in the food. It's fermented. And so it's a little different. I end my video quickly by saying, please, eat the proper human diet, which contains very little carbohydrates, starch, sugar, no seed oils, and is basically one ingredient, whole animal foods. And your body will be in balance with the bacteria. Your body will be in balance with your hormones. Your body will thrive. And if you contract something, if you get a cold, we all get them. If you get, if you get something, your body is going to fight it so much more efficiently and you're going to get over that cold or that bacterial infection like that. You won't need antibiotics. Now I'm not telling you not to get antibiotics. There's a place and a time for antibiotics, but we don't need it that much when you're eating properly, when you're eating healthily. So just think about those topics. Think about those concepts. That's all I ask you to do in my videos is to think and Google more and learn a little bit more on your own. So eat well so that you can look and feel well and become that optimized version of yourself. Have a good day.